Hello again. Welcome to this week's adventure. We're up in Kararangi National Park and we're tackling the Tableland Circuit. Really looking forward to this one. We're planning on spending two nights up here, one at Salisbury Lodge and another at Mount Arthur Hut. But depending what we do tomorrow and what the weather is like, it might end up just being an overnighter. We've got about 13 kilometers from Flora Car Park to Salisbury Lodge, where we'll be spending tonight. And it's only a total of 700 meters of elevation gain over that distance. So it should be pretty cruisy. Should be passing quite a bit of interesting stuff today, including one rock shelter that looks so cool in the photos. I don't want to spoil it, so I'll just save it till we get there. Leaving Flora Car Park, you walk along this four wheel drive track through some beautiful beach forest and beside Flora Creek, which is absolutely stunning. Got some great weather for today. There's a bit of chill in the air and tomorrow is supposed to be overcast and potential rain. So gonna enjoy all the views and stuff we can get today. This is the Tableland Circuit in Kaurangi National Park. I think this one's gonna be a good one. Let's check it out. wood smell to it. <laughs> Normally these old huts smell a bit dingy but this one's really nice. Don't you buddy? cooler than I thought it was going to be. Half the roof is rock. Let's go. Apparently it gets really popular because everyone wants to stay here. Staying past this go. Akita and Apostle getting into some of the It's so cool. It's even cooler than the photos. But unfortunately, we gotta keep going. Maybe we'll stay at it next time. I didn't realize there was two of them. I thought it was just a uh, hut. This one's arguably even cooler.
was stunning. I'm pretty sure we just spent close to two hours at both those shelters. Another one. <laughs> they just like building stuff in rocks here, don't they? Well, I've got to say, if any of the huts are full, you've definitely got your choice of rock shelters. Everyone's names carved into the rock. 1992. Huh. Oh, all right, you want to go to a hut? An actual hut? <laughs> That giant pyramid looking mound in the background is what we'll be hiking over tomorrow, weather permitting. And one of those giant mounds as well. Although I'm not sure which one is Mount Arthur. today. Got to the hut relatively early so we're just gonna hang out, have a cup of tea, relax, maybe have an early dinner and just enjoy the views. Thank you. 
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is the type of terrain that just looks better with some misty clouds hanging on the top and rolling off the peaks. We're taking the potholes route from Salisbury Lodge. That's about three kilometers. And then it links up with the Gordon's Pyramid track. We're gonna hike up Gordon's Pyramid, down into the Horseshoe Basin, up the Horseshoe Basin on the other side. And then we'll have to make a decision on whether we summit Mount Arthur or we turn left towards Mount Arthur Hut and possibly all the way out to Flora Car Park. Looking beautiful at the moment, but the cloud is supposed to come in pretty thick around 1 p.m. today. So depending on how long we take this morning, we'll probably determine if we summit Mount Arthur or not. There's a hole on the potholes route. What a surprise. Either way, we should get some glorious views today. Really looking forward to it. Let's check it out. We're on to Gordon's Pyramid track now, hiking through some absolutely beautiful forest. Just got a short section of this forest and then the climbing begins. these bugs are about to f***ing annoy. The whole way up. I'm flying in your face, flying in your mouth. Hi, stranger. I couldn't stop. Uh, that's fine. It was so bad. King of the world. Table lands for days. <laughs> Got views for days. It's beautiful. There is some dark clouds coming in though. So we're just enjoying it while we can. We're heading down a little bit into the Horseshoe Basin and then gonna climb back up. Once we reach the junction, we'll make a decision on whether we wanna summit Mount Arthur. It really depends on what those clouds end up doing. It's all blue skies. And then on that side. It's so, all coming in. Mount Arthur might be a no-go. That cloud is starting to lower in 
cover the peaks. Just means we gotta come back another time. We are gonna be hiking along that ridge on the way back, so we'll get views on that side as well. But we will come back in another video in Summit Mount Arthur. said that this was going to take two and a half hours from the top of Gordon's Pyramid. Lies! There's some pretty crazy rock formations. reasons we will not be summoning Mount Arthur today. We've been rewarded with brilliant views all day anyway so I don't feel like we're missing out. Looks like we're gonna be hiking down along this ridge so we should have great views from both sides on the way to Mount Arthur Hut. A cute little hut. Again, it looks like you could just need a beer. It's a really nice hut, and there's no one here. So, we're gonna stay? I'm gonna spend the night. <laughs> I was like, what is that?
This <laughs> wacker is just popping Wacker out, has you know? Kia's. That's a huge one. Look how beefy it is. Where's your babies? Looks like you ate them. Cute little hot. Thoroughly enjoyable hut. Really happy we ended up staying there rather than heading out yesterday. This whole area has been so beautiful. It's been quite the surprise and we're really happy it's so close to our doorstep. We've got at least two more trips planned for this area, so stay tuned for that. We've got a very gradual four kilometer descent to Flora Car Park. Just gonna be walking through this beautiful beach forest the entire time. So enjoy these last shots as we head out of here. We'll catch you in the next one. Ciao. Bye-bye.